The Different Forms of Trauma Presented by the Ward and Wellness Services In association with CJ Ward Creations Recognize the warning signs of a landslide. Stormwater drainage patterns on slopes near houses, particularly where runoff water converges, can suggest a higher risk. Additional warning indicators include the sound of trees cracking or boulders banging together, which might indicate moving debris, tiny slides or debris flows, or progressively tilting trees, or the sounds of trees cracking or boulders knocking together, which could indicate moving debris. Recognize the various landslide and flood warnings. Landslide advisories indicate the likelihood of landslide activity in a given location in relation to rainfall forecasts. Landslide alert a landslide is possible but unlikely. People in the area should pay attention to preparedness advisories and stay up to date on changing weather patterns. Landslide warning a landslide is in progress and individuals should exercise great caution. Flood watch indicates the possibility of a river overflowing in the watch region. Flash flood watch indicates the possibility of flash floods in or around the watch area. Flood warning, a flood warning indicates that flooding is occurring in the warning area. Flash flood warning indicates that the warning region is experiencing flash floods. Lower the chance of a landslide on their property. Families should consult with local officials or a geotechnical professional to acquire a ground evaluation of their property as well as advise on how to reduce the risk of landslides. Make a strategy for evacuating. Families should be aware of the best evacuation routes and rehearse them on a regular basis, both during the day and at night. Put together an emergency go kit. Families should keep enough water, food, and other emergency supplies to last at least three days as well as enough prescriptions to last at least seven days. They should also include copies of vital documents, a battery-operated radio for weather updates, and pet necessities. Children can also make their own kits with their favorite toys included. Review the family preparation plan for a checklist of items to include. Make a plan for family communication. Families should have crucial contact information readily available, and they should know who to call if they become separated. This crucial information should also be shared with babysitters. Families can use the preparedness wallet card to keep track of their contacts. Make provisions for the needs of children. Parents and caregivers should provide youngsters with simple facts about landslides and debris flows. They should also be aware of their children's schools or after-school programs emergency plans. Children can participate in preparedness exercises with their parents. Help Kids Cope is a mobile app that teaches parents and caregivers how to communicate with children at various stages of development. During Knowing what to do in the event of a landslide can give families a sense of control and allow them to take precautions to ensure their safety. Take into account the following. Families should do the following during a landslide watch or warning. Stay up to date on landslide warnings and current weather conditions. For the most up-to-date emergency information, Families should tune into local government radio or television stations. Maintain a constant state of alertness and vigilance. Many people are killed by debris flows while sleeping, therefore families should stay alert for any changes during landslide alerts. If they are in a high-risk location and it is safe to drive, they should consider staying with a friend or family member, keep an eye out for landslide warning signs. Small slides or debris flows, skewed trees, telephone poles, fences, or walls, doors suddenly stuck, strange noises of moving debris, or new holes or bare places on hillsides can all be considered warning indicators. Changes in water level and water quality, from clear to muddy, in neighboring streams could also signal a debris flow upstream. Families should notify authorities and consider evacuation if they spot any of these. During a landslide or debris flow, families should quickly collect loved ones and pets and flee the landslide or debris flows route. Streams, creeks, and low-lying places should be avoided. They should continue to keep away from the slide region because more movements can occur for hours to days thereafter. If you're indoors, move to a higher level and seek cover. If at all feasible, families should seek shelter on the second floor or in the area of the building farthest from the approaching landslide. 
Shelter can also be provided by sturdy furniture such as a table, desk, or bench. During a landslide or debris flow, families should quickly collect loved ones and pets and flee the landslide or debris flow's route. Streams, creeks, and low-lying places should be avoided. They should continue to keep away from the slide region because more movements can occur for hours to days thereafter. If you're indoors, move to a higher level and seek cover. If at all feasible, families should seek shelter on the second floor or in the area of the building farthest from the approaching landslide. Shelter can also be provided by sturdy furniture such as a table, desk, or bench. Parents and caregivers can address children's reactions immediately following a landslide by modeling calm conduct. Children may imitate the reactions of adults around them, and they may pick up ideas for self-care from what their parents and caregivers do. Use a quiet, steady voice to deliver simple but accurate information. Make sure they understand the warning signals of a landslide slash debris flow and where they should flee if any of these indications appear. Encourage activities that are soothing or distracting. Children may benefit from gentle breathing or holding a teddy animal or blanket to help them relax. Because families may be forced to flee for an extended amount of time, keep children occupied with simple activities. Finding opportunities for parents and caregivers to take a minute for themselves, express their thoughts, accept that this is a scary circumstance, and engage in a coping plan may be beneficial. After Landslides often strike without notice, destroying homes and businesses and forcing families to rebuild or migrate. Landslides can also block or damage roadways, limiting access to some towns and delaying services in extreme cases. Individuals may have to wait hours or even days to learn if their loved ones are safe because they can happen when families are separated. Children's and families' emotions will differ depending on their level of fear, the extent of damage and loss they suffered, and the level of community disruption. Children may express concern about another landslide, get distressed when apart from their parents or caretakers, have difficulty concentrating or paying attention, or complain of increased headaches or stomach aches. Most families will recover over time after a landslide, especially with the help of family, friends, and community groups. Some families may be able to swiftly resume their typical routines, while others will face challenges such as repairing damage to their home and belongings. Getting medical care, finding new job, relocating to a new location, and dealing with financial difficulties. Parents and caregivers can help youngsters recover and adjust by, demonstrate how to remain calm and hopeful in the aftermath of a calamity. Provide accurate information and honest responses to queries. Be patient while responding to behavioral changes such as difficulties going to bed or not wanting to sleep alone, clinging to loved ones, or seeking extra reassurance. Assist children in coping with landslide reminders such as the sound of trees splitting or the sight of ruined homes. Stick to a set of habits and family traditions. Take care of themselves, as how their children function and heal is influenced by how their parents and carers deal. Landslide Resources Definition The movement of masses of rock, rubble, or dirt down a slope is known as a landslide. Landslides are usually triggered by rain, snowmelt, earthquakes, volcanic activity, changes in water level, stream erosion, or anthropogenic land modification. Debris and mudflows, also known as mudslides, are flooded torrents of rock, earth, and other debris. They form when water swiftly accumulates in the ground during and after a heavy storm or rapid snowmelt. After the rains stop, the threat can persist for days or weeks. As in the case of debris flows, landslides can move slowly or swiftly. Before, the greatest method to help children and family members recover after a landslide is to be prepared ahead of time. Families should do the following to strengthen their preparedness, recognize that landslides and debris flows can strike without notice and move swiftly. They require immediate action during these times and families may not have time to gather their goods in the event of an evacuation. Many of them happen at night, while people are sleeping. During strong rainstorms, families in high-risk locations may choose to escape to a friend's or family member's home as a precaution. Identify high-risk landslide regions. Families should find out if landslides or debris flows have occurred in their area in the past, 
and if they live in an area prone to landslides. The following are high-risk landslide areas, areas where vegetation has been destroyed by wildfires or human modification. Areas where landslides have previously occurred. Steep slopes and areas at the foot of slopes or canyons. Slopes that have been altered for building and road construction. Stream or river channels. Areas where surface runoff is directed.